Yep. It's time. All right, Freddy, come here. And hey. we have a whiskey dog. We have whiskey. Here. We have whiskey cat. We have whiskey dog. Come on. Yeah, There's a one time whiskey dog. Okay, Freddy. <laughs> okay, Freddy. And he's not having oh, this. Little dog. Hello. <laughs> he's in the dog. He's still, he's still learning. He's still learning. Yeah. All right, go to mommy. Go to mommy. All right, guys, welcome back to Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And on this week's episode, we got two MGP bottles for you that Dan's going to go in a little more in depth about. All right, so we have the Brick Tucky made by Garden State Distilling, our buddy Rick over there, who we've done this on an episode. We've been to the distillery. Mm -hmm. We love what you guys are doing. We wanted to use this bottle just as a reference of what MGP can do and what they do do. Yep. Uh, and then Smoke Wagon is a uh, Nevada Distilling Co. Yep, Nevada Distilling Company. All right, so yeah, so Smoke Wagon is made by Nevada yep. Distilling Co. out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Obviously, they make a lot of awesome products. They make a regular bourbon, a rye, the uncut, unfiltered, which is the barrel proof expression we're going to be tasting this week, uh, which is uh, 115 proof, uh, a little up there, big mm -hmm. boy. And then they have the Desert Jewel, which nobody ever sees. That's why they call it the Desert yeah. Jewel. So um, technically, we kind of skipped a tier. This is, like Dan said, it's the uncut and filtered. This would be right above the regular Smoke Wagon, which if you've ever seen, yeah. it's a similar bottle. However, it's not beautifully There's no, it's not. I think it's I Italian. Italian it's Boston. Italian glass. It's yeah. embossed, embossed Italian glass. You could see, like, this is an embossed glass. This isn't a label. This should it's go really for about, nice. like, 70 bucks MSRP. Um, but the regular, the regular smoke wagon, it'll be same bottle pr pretty much, but, but the like whole a thing's a label stenciled yeah. with these colors. But that's the only one. So. The, but the rye, so the rye's gonna have like a baby blue logo, yeah, lo logo, logo, and it's gonna be the same type bottle. The bur regular bourbon is the only one that doesn't have yeah, this it's crazy like different. ornate like floral work. I think it looks like a, it's actually a cactus. Believe it or not, it was actually easier for us to get this than the regular, uh, mainly in part because here in Jersey, the distributor who sells this it you have you're like waitlisted kind of it yeah. the product overall is still pretty limited in our area so naturally this is more expensive it's not going to sell as quick as the, as the regular right, enough yum yammering let's fucking drink this yeah thing. let's see what they taste like all right so we are going to do a legitimate we've already tasted this we just want we're not actually going to drink the brick tucky mm -hmm. on this episode we just use it there to say, like, this is another thing that MGP does. Yes. Like, MGP makes blends for everyone. They, they do. They're a huge production company. And uh, it's interesting to see how they differ or how they are actually similar. So basically what we're going to find out is how uh, it sort of work better if we had the regular one because this is going to be higher proof. But it'd be interesting to see if, like, you know, the regular smoke wagon is pretty much comparable to this or how Yeah, to see, like, kind of, and the whole thing is, like, MGP, yeah, they make standard whiskey blends, but mm -hmm. basically it's up to your distiller yes. uh, on how they use those blends. So it's yep. like, basically, it's like an artist getting a blank piece of paper. There's, mm -hmm. MGP is your blank piece of paper, and then the artist draws what they want on it. So exactly. They, these guys leave their barrels in a desert for X amount of months, years, whatever. Yep. That's what makes this such a dry and like almost like fruit, like dried fruit and like uh, floral expression mm -hmm. of, of an MGP. But the one thing every MGP blend has, and I'm pretty sure both of these have it. We'll, we'll smell this bottle. Yeah. Cherry wood. Every yes. MGP has a very strong cherry wood note. Um, and the reason we're, and the, we're actually going to do a straight up like official tasting day. We're doing neat, we're adding water, and then we're going to do a separate temp drop test mm -hmm. on it. And we haven't done like a single bottle review in a while, so this is just us focusing on one bottle that we absolutely love. Yeah. So yeah, this cheers. bottle, I, we're going to, we'll admit, we've both had this. We picked it up, couldn't wait to open it. Um, I'm a huge fan of anything that comes from out west. I love, I love western stuff. You know, cowboys and Indians and all that fun John, stuff. Yeah, I was a big John Wayne fan growing up. So yeah, like so was John Wayne. Yeah, my grandfather got me into it. <laughs> my father's a big western guy. I mean, he always has the western channel on. It's right. hilarious. Um, oh look, he didn't do it. It's it. 2020, and he's <laughs> still as fascinated by watching stuff that was in production in the early 50s yeah. and 60s because that's oh, no. really uh, when the Western stuff was there we go. time. All right, Freddie, come here. And hey. we have a whiskey dog. We have here. whiskey. Remember we have whiskey cat. We have whiskey dog. Come on. This yeah, is a one time whiskey dog. Okay, Freddie. <laughs> okay, Freddie. And he's not having oh, this. Little dog. Hello. <laughs> he's in the dog. He's still, he's still learning. He's still learning. Yeah. All right, go to mommy. Go to mommy. Wait, don't knock down the lighting. Go, go puppy. No, Hi. I'm not mommy. Hi. I'm second dad. Oh, there we go. crazy there. uncle. There we go. All right. So there was a brief interruption by Whiskey Dog. All right. We're back to it. All right. So let's uh, do some like, we'll do like, 
Oh, no, we got him. <laughs> and he's coming back. <laughs> you are really bad at holding the dog. He looks like a cheetah. Out back. <laughs> now he moves. Yeah, he moves. <laughs> he's like, F just you. leave him for now. It's all right. Is what it is. No, no, no. This is not working. Ah. Into the room, Freddy. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on, Fredford. Come on, Fredford. Come on, Fredford. He's like, F you. Oh, God. I will carry you. I was going to say, you might just have to carry him. Okay, there we go. There's <laughs> a big boy. All right, All right, back to it. Back to try. All right, so. Oh, it smells so nose good. is that cherry wood. It's this big cherry. Yeah, a lot of cherry and a lot of oak on the nose. Yeah, a lot of wood. No smoke for you. Actually, you know what? Is it? Well, obviously it's oak, but like it—it it really is more of a generic wood smell than than oak. Yeah, it's just a—it's it's yeah, woody. it's just woody in general. And then yeah, yeah, you get the cherryness. That's why I say I say cherry wood. That's like yeah. I just call it cherry wood. No, and then all right, let's let's give her the old try here. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just like smooth and supple, and like you definitely get like it, it as soon as it starts to get like too hot, it kind of kicks it dials itself yeah. back. There's definitely yeah. some uh, Kentucky hug. Or you know what? For sure. But let's, dry. Call it, let's call it a hooker's hug. Like, so oh, yeah. Let's yeah, a hooker's There's hug. There's a hooker's hug in here. Freaking double H, hooker's hug. It, um, uh, it sits here a little bit, it but it's not unbearable. Good. It's really no, good. No, no, it's no, no, like no. A, a good kind of burn. You get like a, it sounds pretty like corny, but you get like a desert dryness out of this. Yeah. It's very dry. There's not, it's not like savory at all. It's no. very light for a 115 proof. And it washes off the palate but, quick. All right. Let's do a little water test here. Let's, yeah, fill, let's just fill the mouth. inner ring of the inner ring. Inner ring of the cat. Wow, it does that. So hopefully this is real. This is gonna proof this down hopefully to about 85, 90 proof, somewhere in that ballpark. And then we're gonna see like number one nose, which is usually the most most significant thing to change. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add a little drop because I drank way too much with that first yeah. sip than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah, let me get a little bit in here. There we go. Okay, just a tiny, all tiny right, dab. Right, 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 right. That's all. Dabble do it. All right. Dabble do, dabble, dabble do, do. Oh, yeah. Now that smells... Oh, it toned down the cherry on the nose and brought out a lot of wood. Yeah, there's the wood. It's all and wood oak. now. The cherry's more like a, like kind of in the background. Yeah. Ooh. I bet it's going to taste good. I, have, I actually have not tried this one. I'm getting like dried fruit chill. and mesquite. Definitely mesquite. I'm getting mesquite. Oh, wow. Tastes, wow, it's like completely, no burn. Completely Now, you know what's funny? The cherry note, or the cherry nose disappears, it's, but, but the cherry more, profile yeah, comes out. Yeah, it's more of a cherry profile in the taste. All right, so if you crack this bottle and you find it's a little too hot for you, which I highly doubt you will, especially if you're used to high-proof stuff, throw some wa splash of water in it because that really changed. It really dialed it back enough to like, wow, is that different. Okay. It's like a whole new whiskey. It's delicious, though, still. It's a whole new... No, can't do it with copyright. Um, all right, so let's do the temp drop. So we'll leave those there for now. Time for the temp drop. Now are we going to do the temp drop and then temp drop plus water? No, just do temp drop. Okay. There's really, I think it's kind of like... Uh, we've already done the water part. I think the water's going to bring out the same thing. Pretty much. Yeah, typically you will get that because... And thank you to my girlfriend for my whiskey stones for my early Christmas gift. These are freaking awesome. They are made by Premium Whiskey Stones Udelf. Yep. Udelf Barware Collection. You can find them on Amazon. It's really yep. cheap. Yep. You can also find them in gift packs in stores this time of year. But if you don't have a whiskey stone, I highly recommend them. Yeah. Um, mainly because they chill your whiskey without letting the water melt from a typical ice cube. and That's why I didn't want know. to do it, because it's like defeating the purpose of the whiskey. Exactly. Stones. Now, a lot of people like that. A lot of people purposely use the ice because they like when the, the water kind of slowly... They infuses. like the evolution of the flavor change throughout the drink. Yes, it does make for a very interesting change. But me, myself, I'd rather my whiskey just right. cold and not water. So the temp drop, I think we're just going to do taste. The okay. nose is pretty similar. you got to yeah. go back to that big cherry wood nose. Wow, these are like legit stones too. Usually they're just like, <laughs> oh shit. Usually they're just like metal. Um, is that a crazy big difference? No. Yeah, no. It really is like. Cold. Oh yeah, they're cold. They're, no, they're huh. cold. They're they're one hundred percent cold. It's it not doesn't a, change it too much. No, it doesn't really change it that much. I thought it was gonna be a little more. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was gonna round it off a little bit, but I did too. 
Kind of like, well, you know, it's 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 good, but it didn't really do too much. Yeah, no, didn't do anything. Okay, so this is a pretty pointless test. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to find like something. Oh, yeah, I'm trying. To I'm find trying to find something. something there. I'm trying to find something to say here, but maybe, maybe if I like, I have nothing. Let it chill a little bit more. It's just like awkward silence. Oh yeah, let's smell this thing. See what the. No, well, this actually, is dude. This is like, like maraschino cherry. Holy shit! Wow, I actually, you know what? I want to taste that. That's, that's, that that nose. Hey, you don't mind, real quick? Yeah. I know it's kind of sacrilege. I can't drink all that tonight. That nose develops. I've got to deal with a one-year-old puppy right now, so I'm not gonna even attempt to get a little drunk tonight. Not that we do anyway. It's a joke. I don't remember that that smell in that. No, it got like really sweet. Like really sweet. Mmm. Go back to your nose. Tell me if you get raisin on this though. Yes. Okay, so there's a the difference. Right there. The temp drop get a little more raisin actually. So the one thing I said not to do is where it changed. So that's my bad. Alright, I don't wanna try. Yeah, I just, just wanna try this. Just, a just, I'm just doing a, I'm just filling the bottom of the glass. Side by side. Dude, holy shit. The nose really... Dude, it's like those, those ch like cherry, dried cherry candies. To me, it smells like pear. I don't get pear. I get like a like a medicinal... Like soap. I get like sweet medicinal cherries. Sweet like Luxardo milk. cherries. Yeah. Completely different. Completely different than the last time we had it. And it's also completely different than the smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, so this shows you the variety that Hell you can get. Hell of a lot different. Like I said, like you may have one, like you might have like blank template blends that you blank template blends that they use, but like it really is like pure artistry to get these products out of yeah. that. But with that saying, this kind of all we want to do with this. Yeah, this is a nice it's little really like smoke, our, nice little smoke wagon review. Nice easy episode. Keep mm -hmm. it under fifteen minutes. Keep it nice and bite sized. Yep. So uh, with saying that, uh, we haven't done this recently. So, and we need you guys to emphasize two things. And I've actually, this algorithm is a fucking nightmare to use oh, on YouTube. YouTube's horrible. So, uh, please comment on this video. Comment anything, please. Like, yeah. If you watch the video, just say, like, what's up. Like, anything. Mm -hmm. And number two, if you watch the video, please just hit the like button. Like, if you're on your phone, it's literally right there. Just hit the like button. Yep. If you're watching your TV, just go to more, hit the like button. Like, likes and comments are what will really help us get this yeah. out there. Like I said, we don't do this for the accolades. We don't do this for... Uh, like, the notoriety, we do this because we like whiskey, but we also want more people to hear this. Yeah, we want to, we're, you know, pretty much we want to at least get our reach across this, our home state, just yeah. so people know. Cause... So, with that saying, thank you to everybody who does support the channel. Thank you yes. to our friends who are constantly looking for bottles out across the state for us. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, stay safe, have a great week, uh, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, take care, guys. Cheers.